Everybody, welcome back to the program. Again, just a rundown of what we have left. We're going to answer the phones there for this segment. And Jason's telling me maybe one more segment. Again, the phone line is 879-1231. At about 7.15, or a little bit earlier, we'll have Canadas in the Kitchen. Joni Petra will be with Chef George Caslow and Chef Tony DeSalvo. Uh, right after that, we'll have a woman's perspective with Dr. Laura Battle. Today, Dr. Laura Battle's guest will be Cindy Eliza, who is elementary supervisor of Lafouche Parish Schools. And with school coming up, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of information handed out in that. And then finally, we wrap it all up with the sports segment at the end. And I mentioned a little bit earlier, a uh, young man from our area, from Homa, east side of Homa, Phil Libus was signed today by the Miami Dolphins, and he's going to have the opportunity to play NFL football. What a great thing. It's been a long time since somebody from Terrebonne Parish or Lafouche, not Assumption. Assumption's got a few guys in there, have played pro football. We'll talk to him uh, uh, maybe at the end of the week. Hopefully we can get Phil on the line as he's getting all this stuff together. But first, we're going to go to the phone lines as they are lit up, and we'll go in the order that these folks called in. Hello, you're on Bio Time. Okay. Hey, how are you? Okay, strike one. Here we go, moving on. <laughs> Hi, you're on Bio Time. Good, after, good evening, uh, Stan. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I was just watching uh, CNN and uh, Fox News uh, about that stuff, uh, what's going on about our budget. And? <laughs> well, the, the way I see it, they didn't pass that chance up. The Republicans are not doing what they're supposed to do. We had a four hundred dollar, four hundred, four trillion dollar deficit cut that the Democrats give them. We had four hundred trillion; they had cut. They 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 were going to cut this, but they wouldn't give up the Bush tax cut for eight hundred billion in revenues. That's the closest they ever came. And then President Obama wanted $400 billion more because uh, through attrition, through fraud and all in a 10-year period. Now, why didn't they sign that deal? The Republicans got what they wanted. They had their $4 trillion in cut, and the Democrats had what they wanted. And they didn't sign this. I, I think the American people ought to grab some pitchforks and march their butt to Washington out there and clean his whole house up. Do you think it's a situation now where they're drawing party lines and, and it has nothing to do with what's going to be for the betterment of the people? They're going to stick to their party lines no matter what the answer to all of this is? The answer is they are no good, the whole bunch of them. What? I mean, and then they keep blaming the president. They, they keep blaming him. Look, they can do away with the Bush tax cuts. They don't have their four trillion in cuts. I mean, you know, everybody's got to give a little bit. We're going to give a little bit. We pay thirty-five percent, thirty-eight percent working. I mean, uh, Bain has got the four hundred tri four trillion in cuts. The Democrats had their uh, their budget revenues, except they asked for four hundred billion more. Through attrition, uh, through fraud, they were going to find fraud. So said. I do know this. No, you know, it, August second's coming up quick. There are things that have to be done. That that I, I'm not. Yeah. Sure, you know, I and, and 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 I don't profess to know the answers to all of this. I, you know, it's one side that does not want taxes, another side that's saying, listen, we have to bend on this a little bit to get this money. We're in such a deficit right now. And I'm not sure what the answer is, but I do know this. With that date coming up and the situation that it could put our entire country in, there has to be an answer well, soon. It's just like you say, the, bank, uh, the Wall Street and all rode this train for 10 years. I mean, eight years or 10 years, whatever they said. Well, it's time for them to pay the conductor, which is the American people. Yep, it's we'll a, grow up on that taxes now. It's a bad situation. But I hope they can get this straight because a lot of countries are looking at us. Yep, I and agree. I, I'll tell you what, I wish they would do like they did in Wisconsin. They had an, 
If I live around Washington, I can grab me a pitchfork and go clean that Congress out. Run every last one of them out of there. Well, what's going to happen is next time, and we say this often, and it becomes a cliche, but next time it's, it's re-election time, we're going to have to take a long, hard look at exactly what we want as individuals in our country. Because we're getting into one, we're getting into uncharted waters now. Right. You see, I agree with the Tea Party cutting. But, I mean, you you got, like you say, you got to compromise, bro. You just can't say, well, we're going to cut and that's it. This, this little party, this Tea Party, is not, I agreed with them at the beginning, but this ain't working, bro. This is not working. Yeah. You know what I mean, Stan? Yep. And go Saints. Yeah, it's nice to have that back. What do you think about it? That's something we can smile about a little bit and say that it's actually happening. And I wasn't saying it was happening last Friday. I wouldn't say it was happening Saturday until it officially came out. It's here. And, uh, you know, if we could just smile about that a little bit and take us away from it. And if, I'm smiling and we'll get rid of Reggie Bush. <laughs> and I think that's actually right around the corner. But I will say <laughs> this. The, when those, when the labor part, when the, when the players union and the owners got together and made the announcement, and they kind of said in their announcement, Washington, please take our cue. Please come together like we have a <laughs> yeah. little bit. So let's hope they follow suit on that. I mean, we can do without football. It was going to be hard. But we cannot do without a, 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 a country. I mean, they yeah. need to look for our country. That's right. That's All right. All right. I appreciate your call. All right. Moving on. Hello, you're on by your time. Hello, hey, sir. Hey, how are you? You know what it is? Now I do. Herman, my friend Herman Boudreau. What's going on? How you been? I ain't heard from you for a while. I'm glad you called, Herman, because one night I was doing sports and they said you had call, but we couldn't take a call. But I, yeah, I know because you... I wasn't home because I was I was in the lead and doing bowling at both sides there. Oh, very good. Now what's going on with Special Olympics, Herman? Uh, we just waiting for horseshoes now. I'm doing horseshoes right now. Horseshoes and to softball, so. softball to bowling to horseshoes, Herman. You live the life, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what is that? Is that a local league you play in horseshoes? Or y'all going to state or no, what? We're going to uh, Lafayette for horseshoes. Very good, very good. Now I know you're good in softball. I know you're a good bowler. How are you in horseshoes? Uh, I don't know about horseshoes. <laughs> uh, this this will be my first year, but I'm gonna give it a try. Very good, very good. Now when is this tournament coming up? Uh, I think in October, huh? Lafayette. October. October, very good. Well, you make sure to call us back and let us know exactly well, how you did. Well, I'm glad we're having football again. Yeah, what you think? Y'all in Saints? They're going to uh, uh, do what they... We're going to repeat to the Super Bowl. Very good. Well, we took a year off. I think, I think you think they're going to keep Roger or they're going to give him a pay cut? I don't know. I have to agree with the last call. I think it's a situation where I don't know if Reggie Bush's pride is going to let him take that big of a pay cut, but I do think... And I truly believe this, whether it's in Yorley and Saints being my favorite team or not, the best place Reggie Bush can play football is in New Orleans. Yeah. I don't think the signing of Mark Ingram is going to affect Reggie Bush at all because he would he what he does is is a thing that Mark Ingram does not now I got to tell you Pierre Thomas and those guys might have to worry a little bit about Mark Ingram, but I think Reggie Bush that's not a factor with Reggie Bush. I'll tell you what. I'm glad that Saints picked up Mark Ingram because I tell you what, he's going to be a hell of a running back. I agree with that too, but I got to tell you this, and this is my last thought, Herman. You better go check that Saints schedule because they open up with Green Bay in those first uh, three games. Man, we ain't worried about Green Bay. How about the Colts? Uh, we ain't worried about Peyton Manning either. We <laughs> beat him last year, we're going to do it again. You're right. There's a few in a row there we that are tough. We, we play his brother too, we're going to beat his brother too. <laughs> Very, you're right because Eli comes in too. That's right. We're going to take both of them in the dog. <laughs> Very good. I, I, hope, I hope you're right, Herman. Uh, I'll tell you what. Ever since they picked up, I got one more question. Okay. Ever since they picked up that guy from Ohio State, he's going to be a bad defensive back for the Saints. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins? No, that big, that big, that big defensive line from Ohio State. Oh, you're talking about on the defensive line? Yeah. You know, I'm not quite sure who you're talking about right this now. From big old fella. He's a, he was a defensive line or offensive line. Well, I got to tell you, Herman, everybody who plays on the defensive line in the NFL is a you, big old... Your, your dog cut three of their players today. Randall Barber is gone. Oh, I, I did hear that today. Yeah. And, and we're going to see some of the Saints going pretty good in sports. I'm going to tell everybody who's the free agents for the Saints, and we won't see some of those guys back in the Saints uniform. And some of those guys are kind of favorites of ours and... Uh, there's got to be some business decisions. 
Yeah, well, it's going to be fun. We oh, know yeah. we know it's here. Uh, on at, least, at least we have the lock on lock. Please. That's exactly All right. right. Thank All you, right. Man. Thanks, Herman. Got to take one break. Caller, if you can, could you please hold on? Jason Selman, we got to go to a break right now. We'll get right back with you after this message. <laughs> 